Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, spin, baby, spin! Earthbound beginnings! Interesting. Okay! Okay! Hang on, I gotta turn up the volume here. There we go. Itoy! Yes, rest in peace, Itoy. He's the father of this amazing series. Here we go, folks. Earthbound. It says Earthbound. It's Earthbound Beginnings. The very first game in the Mugger series for NES. I wonder if this will have any quality of life improvements from the original one. I tried playing this on the Wii U. I made it... I don't know how far I made it in the game. Uh, I got a couple of the main quest items that you needed, but... I eventually just got totally lost, <laughs> and it's a pretty grindy game. Having said that, we're still going to have fun playing it. So let's start game one. What is this boy's name? Well, so if we just say, like, and, oh, maybe not. I mean, the boy's name is Ninten. Yes, so this game was originally just called Mother, in, and it was in Japan only. The sequel was Mother 2, but when it got local, when that one got localized in America for the SNES, it was uh, localized as Earthbound because they didn't get the original Mother. And then there was Mother 3, one of the best games ever, and that only made it in Japan. They never released Mother 3 outside of Japan, but they eventually put the original Mother over in America. And of course, because to American audiences the series is known as Earthbound, they called it Earthbound Beginnings. Okay. So you don't have the don't care option, so we'll just call this guy Ninten. Nah, that's boring, that's boring. This guy will be... He will be Chuck. What is the girl's name? Oh, she looks like a pleasant little lady. She can be, uh... You can be Opal. I don't think we're ever going to encounter you anyways. What is this boy's name? That boy... He looks like a Ralph. Welcome to the party, Ralph. Not Rach. No, Ralph. What is this boy's name? That boy looks pretty huge with a deformed face. Uh, he will be known as... Tuscan. Like Tuscan Raider. There, are, are you sure? Yes. What is my favorite food? Oh. <laughs> it's not actually my favorite food. But for humor's sake... No! Favorite food, the... No, that is not okay. How do you get a space? Okay, here. There we go. There we go. There we go. favorite food is the McRib. <laughs> the McRib! <laughs> yes, the McRib! <laughs> there you go. Is this food okay? Yes. <laughs> These are not at all the defaults. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in, a ru in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. How spoopy. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done. That sounds ominous, but he began an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. Uh-oh. Eighty years have passed since then. Howdy, it's me, Chuck, in the flesh. Let's talk to the lamp. Who are you talking to? Let's check the lamp. 
No problem. Oh, I disagree. That lamp is very tacky. So the, the UI of this game is a little primitive. Uh-oh. I knew there was something weird about that lamp. Lamp draws near. I don't know about you, but if your lamp starts actually moving around and attacking you, you should probably smash it. Lamp's attack! Chuck suffered a damage of one. Chuck's attack. Lamp suffered a damage of three. Chuck's attack! Get out of here, lamp. Lamp doesn't move anymore. That's good. That's how the lamp should be. You win! Uh, what is going on here? Is this another lamp? Is this lamp bothering you? <laughs> Get out of my sister's room. <laughs> lamp the attack! Lamp can't do nothing. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I have no plans to see it. But I've heard people enjoyed it. Lamp suffered a damage of free. Yeah, get out of here, you tacky lamp. Okay, so all the lamps in our house are uh, literally becoming alive and attacking people. Oh my, brother, our house is falling apart! Boo-hoo! That's too bad. Can I sleep in your bed? Nope. Darn it. Mom, Mom splurged to get my sister comfier sheets than me. Oh, we have another sister. Help me! Is that a baby doll? Doll draws near. Okay. This is one of those dress em dolls, but our sister does not like to dress them. Dolls attack. Chuck suffered. Oh, the doll's wimpy. Again, it's a children. You are a child's plaything! <laughs> Get out of here. Doll suffered damage at three. Well, thus far, the fights are very easy. Psy? Nope, we don't have any Psy abilities. Chuck's attack! I like to imagine we're Charlie Brown, just in a different dimension. Why is the doll faster than me? Are we that slow? Doll doesn't move anymore. I'm pretty sure our sister's not going to want to play with that doll anymore. We advance to the next level! Fight has increased by two. That's good. Speed has increased by three. Excellent. Wisdom increased by three. Strength has increased by two. Force has increased by three. HP increased by five. And PP increased by five. Dang! That was a boss level up. The phenomenon has stopped. For the moment. I was scared to death! Oh wow, check out what's hidden inside the doll! Inside the doll, Chuck spotted an old music box. As the music box was wound up, a melody began to play. Chuck remembered the tune. That's important. In this game, you have to collect musical tunes. So that's the first one you need. Alright, well, uh, ho hum. That was a little weird. Thanks for doing nothing, Mom. The door is locked. Chuck, are you all right? Egad, what is happening to our house? I wish your dad were here now. Maybe... Telephone! Chuck, please get it. No problem. Talk to the telephone. Chuck, grab the telephone. This is your dad. Well, it seems like a poltergeist. I'm not exactly sure how to... But your great-grandfather studied Psy. You might find something in the basement to help. But I left the basement key someplace. Can't remember exactly where. Anyhow, son, you are my only hope. It's time for you to go on a little adventure. And explore the potential of your powers. Powers not to be taken lightly. Chuck, go for it. But remember to come back and check on our family. Bye. Oh, phone me, and I will save your progress. Call me whenever you want. Salam. Thanks, Dad. Wonder where the key is. Who are you talking to? I'm trying to talk to Mom. Chuck, are you alright? Egad, what is happening to our house? I wish your dad were here now. Maybe. Yeah, you said that. Maybe he left the key in the cushions of the couch, of the sofa. Who are you talking to? It's very quaint. And again, it's very impressive that this was on the NES. But if you've played uh, Mother Free or even Earthbound... 
the UI is really primitive. Like in Earthbound, you could just push a button to examine stuff instead of having to bring up this command menu every time. Also, movement is kind of a pain. The door is locked. Maybe he hid the d key in the welcome mat. Or in the doghouse. Is this the dog? It looks like... You can converse with animals. Tell you a secret. Why don't you check me out? Bow wow. <laughs> there, <laughs> there on the dog's collar was the basement key. Chuck out the basement key. Dad attached the key to the dog. Either that or the dog found the key and is like, Rough, this looks good. Just like Ness's dad. Ness's dad is a phone. Doop doop. Oh hey, our sister's out. The the movement controls. I am Minnie. What can I do for you? Leave. Take out. <laughs> I'll take you out. You haven't left anything of me. No, that's the item system in the game. The door is locked. I know. The door is locked. I'm. We have a cash card and a basement key. We can eat the basement key! Chuck unlocked the door and went inside. Presents! Dad hid our Christmas presents in here. Chuck opened the present. There was a... <laughs> there was a Gucci girlfriend's diary. Ness got the Gucci girlfriend's diary. Or not Ness, Chuck did. Chuck opened the present. There was bread. Chuck got bread. Bread for Christmas, my favorite. Chuck opened the present. There was a plastic bat. Chuck out the plastic bat. Better equip that. What is the Gucci girlfriend's diary? Use. The diary was hard to read, but open up to this page. Password. The one who lost the tail. The forgotten one. The ship that sails. It's not good. It's, it actually stands for a great-grandfather's diary. Rat draws near. All right, rat. Rat bit me! Dear you. You can't now, but I want to. I was trying to equip that, but then the ratty attacked. Rat, how dare you. The absolute nerve. Mom, did you know that we have a rat problem in the basement? Why, yes! <laughs> rat uttered dirty words. Chuck's fight decreased by six? Just because the rat said a curse word? He died anyways. Who's, who taught the rat? Oh, wait, we can converse with animals. Never mind. Okay, before we don't anymore. Oh, setup is probably what we have to do. Change the button. To, uh... Flight message speed, let's turn that up to a five. Plastic bat, this weapon is okay for Chuck. Use it, I'm trying. Chuck equipped the plat. there we go. Now we've got higher attack power. <laughs> we got the plastic bat from Spirit Halloween. Can we eat the basement key? Don't be silly, you can't do that, okay. You never know. Bread. Okay to eat it. But its crumbs can be used to mark your trail. Well, that's kind of cool. I forgot about that. Chuck's house. That's right, we can run. Oh, yeah. Running is way nicer. Oh, no, not Wally. Let's check Wally out. Chuck checked Wally. Offense 8, defense 12. He has a short temper, so be careful. Oh, we're literally just beating this man with a plastic bat. Then again, he's stabbing us with a pitchfork. What a Wally this guy is. Also, where's his coffee cup? Oh, smash! Smashes are critical hits. Uh-oh. We're getting low on HP. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, Wally dodged. We might be dead. Chuck was hurt and beaten. You lost the battle. Chuck, Chuck! You seem to have been worn out from the fighting. Yes, we're gonna continue. With his strength regained, Chuck returned once more to the fighting scene. Do your best, Chuck! Chuck! 
Yeah, the enemies in this game are actually no joke. Don't wander from the beaten path or- Uh-oh, the stray dog draws near. Are we literally gonna beat up the stray dog? Stray dog bit me. Hey! That's not nice. Ouch. Offense 8, defense 10. I wonder if it carries fleas. To be fair, we forgot to rest up after we leveled up and uh, took all that damage. Stray Dog keeps biting me, but I keep I keep missing. I'm not even using a slingshot. <laughs> Again, be beginning of this game, very tough. Give me the experience, please. Oh, great. It's the hippie! Yes! Yeah, that's another thing that the future Mother games uh, did well. In the overworld in Mother 2 and 3, uh, you actually see the enemies and can avoid them. Here, it's just like, oh, sometimes when you walk, you just engage an enemy. To be fair, we're the aggressor here. The hippie was just trying to meditate, and we're, like, beating him up with a plastic baseball bat. I can... Uh-oh. Hippies just got angry. He used the bullhorn. Your mother's calling for you! Chuck believed it! Chuck's fight decreased by six. No. No. Stop dodge. What the... What?! Why are my attacks missing so much? It's like 50% they miss, and like, my opponent just always hits me. You can heal with the bread roll, but I don't really want to, because I'm still so close to my house. I'm hoping I learn Psy Life up soon. I also don't know if this is true or not, but I think if you stay on the path, you are less likely to engage enemies. These fights would not be as uh, scary if I hit consistently like this. And we're only dealing with like stray dogs. When we get to the later game and we deal with like cyborg gorillas, like, oh man, we're gonna have no chance. I don't know if that's an actual enemy or not, but that definitely seems like the type of enemy that would be in uh, the Mother series. Hey lady! Oh, what can I do? What should I do? Where can I go? Who can I see? What should I do? What should I do? My little Pippi is gone. If you're going to Podunk, please tell the mayor. Oh me, oh my. That's nice lady, but can I go in your house? No problem. Apparently not. Alright. Oh no, not Wally. Well, we don't you have... Oh, we actually dodged for once. Well, we don't even have better things to do than attack literal children. <laughs> he got so mad about that. Oh, smash! You're dead, Wally. That's what you get. Alright, let's just follow the path for now. Oh. Is this a town? Welcome to Podunk. Hello, lady. Did a Polargeist visit your house? It tore mine apart. Oh, well, it is ha it is Halloween season, so... That gonna happen. Hey, Mousy. Hehehe, <laughs> I am the noisy mouse. Some buildings you can enter, some you cannot. If the door is round or has a sign, go on inside. The rest of the doors will not open for you. Bye. Ah, uh, they're just for decoration. Well, that's good to know. Square doors you will not open. Don't tell me you've been south to the cemetery! I haven't, but I kind of want to go there now. Someone must be controlling the dead. I'm telling you, it's Gygus. Here we are. Podunk. Oh, that's a great map. We can barely see it. 
I want to check that guy out. Zombies may be anywhere in this town. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Be honest, you're a zombie, aren't you? No. Are you really a human? Yes. It's amazing you came here. Okay. Oh, the hotel. Yes. Boop, doop. Can I use your phone? Please. The room rate at this hotel is so inexpensive, and that's not where it stops being cheap either. <laughs> Whenever you get tired, just drop by our inn. Okay, but can I, like, you know, use your phone? We don't have a phone, Sonny. I'm a kid. Can I can I get it for free? There's no phone in the inn. Oh wait, is that the phone? No, that's a flower vase. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Welcome. Thirty nine dollars for a night. I don't have any money. I have a cash card though. The animals went mad and out of control. The dead became zombies and began attacking people. What could be done? I, I don't know. This The Canary Village is northwest from here. It's a nice place uh, to visit and admission is free. Burgers! My, you're that snot-nosed chuck who sat next to me in kindergarten. Hey! Do you work here? Am I supposed to be in like a grown man? Either that or it's this. There's no way like Nintendo is in high school or anything. Can I help you? Please use the menu. I don't have money. Don't need that. Come again when you do. I just want money. Who are you talking to? Okay. Check out the sign. City Hall, City of Podunk. Hey, let's tell the mayor about this. I'll share the secret with you later. Okay. I'm Abbott, the town, not the town mayor, but his assistant. Mr. Mayor's over there. Citizen, I know you would like to help your town. Well, a child is straight into the cemetery, and I am up for re-election soon. You must help! Please help me! Okay. Oh, you'll go there and save her? Return her to me alive, and surely I'll be the hero. Uh, I mean, you'll be the hero. Man, they know how to, <laughs> they know how to portray politicians in this game. <laughs> Oh, let's go to the debt. There we go! Not enough money. We gotta pay for that phone? How may I help you? Do you have something to return? No. Good. Thank you for shopping with us today. Please insert your cash card. Oh, we have to do this every time. Can I help you? Your account shows a balance of $92! Oh. Why, yes, I would love all that. Oh, let's buy some drugs. I'd like some ibuprofen, please. Welcome, what can I sell you? With an antidote, asthma spray! What the butts? Life up cream and insecticide. Why is insecticide that expensive? Are you sure you don't need that? Oh, I don't need it if they're that expensive. I'll just make my own. Sports goods, can we buy stuff here? Welcome, what can I sell you? We have a plastic bat, we already have that. Slingshot and a wooden bat. Oh, wooden bat's too expensive, though. But imagine smashing Wally's face in with a wooden bat. Welcome, what can I sell you? Orange juice, bread, or a sports drink? Bread's probably the best out of those options. Pet? We can buy a pet? Look for yourself, all the animals have escaped. Only the canary chick is left. Want to buy it? Sure. How about $85? No. If it's free, do you want it? Then take it. Did we get it for free? Wait, did we get it for free? We did! Ha, I cheated! <laughs> I think someone's something's controlling the animals. Canary chick, its eyes show sadness. Oh, it's probably because it couldn't fetch any price. Also, if this is like other RPGs, I'm pretty sure if you die, you lose half the cash on hand. So, I'm just gonna talk to the phone, call my dad. I've put ninety-two dollars in your account. After the amount you've spent, bounces zero. Spend your money wisely. Well, the next level requires two for Chuck. Oh! Yes, I would love to save. Okay, but I was thinking of going to sleep now. I've saved your progress so far. Good night. I'm continuing. Just like your mom, you never want to stop. Please don't push yourself so hard. Oh, 
Well, moms like to clean, you know. I'd like to deposit tuppence in the bank account. <laughs> There we go. We don't need no cash. Yep, every enemy you defeat will give you cash in your uh, ATM. Did that canary chick come from Canary Village? I have no idea, but yes. Huh. To eat, you'll have fine bread stale. But with its crumbs, you can mark your trail. Do you think I talk too much? Well, do I? Hey Chuck, how's your Hey Chuck, how's your asthma? Mine's gotten better, but car exhaust still set it off. That one literally looks like peppermint patty. Okay, so the cemetery they say was in the south. Let's head there now. Has the little girl who strayed into the cemetery been rescued? Nope. Never fear. Chuck is here. I don't think enemies spawn in the village area, which is nice. You are you really going into the cemetery? Yep. I thought you were a sensible child. It's a rescue mission. It's like Dora the Explorer, but cooler. Haha, <laughs> you shall become a zombie! Wait, what? Pseudo-zombie draws near. Uh-oh. He bit me. Oh, that's not good. 11 damage! Oh, we're so screwed. <laughs> yep. Not even- Wow. At least we should spawn at the department store now. There we go. And we, now we have full health again. Okay, don't talk to that guy. Alright, who are we fighting now? Oh, it's the hippie. Personally, I prefer the New Age Retro Hippie from Earthbound. But this guy still has, like, Johnny B. Good uh, plan. Come on, hippie, you think you're such a much? Oh no, your mother's calling for you! I believed it, no! But I'm so far from home. The hippie's attack, smash! 15 damage! Who is this hippie? I'm smashing you! Yeah! The hippie regained all senses. We didn't actually kill him. Yes, advance to the next level. Fight, speed, wisdom, strength. Please, please tell me I learned uh, Psy Life up. Psy power through battle! Please be life up. Yes, we have telepathy and life. Yes, there isn't enough power left to try. But I haven't used any. Hey, Marty. No, I have not played the Munchables yet, but I did. I've played. So this is Earthbound Beginnings. I played Mist, and I played all of Kirby's Dreamland. Oh, great. Wally is so going to kill us. Chuck's attack. Wally. Oh, well, maybe not. We did level up, so we're taking a little less damage, and we're dealing quite a bit more damage now. Generally, the beginning of these... Why did Wally just kill us in one hit? You lost the battle. Stupid Wally! <laughs> Why don't you go bother Dilbert some more? Alright, now we gotta go... I'm never gonna get to the cemetery! It'd be real stupid if we had to end this game before we even went to the cemetery. Wally's back for revenge. Okay, yeah, when you get knocked out, you don't get all your PP back. You only get your HP back. That's a shame. Come on, Wally, just get out of here. Oh, yeah, Psy life, psychokinetic life up is definitely going to be useful. Oh, boy! While he's like, I know you literally just beat me two seconds ago, but I want a rematch! <laughs> Doggone it, Wally. Oh no, Wally flew into a rage already? That is not good. Oh, thank goodness we defeated him. Wally regained all his senses. For how long? What does this say? Uh. Healer's house, west beyond the bridge, cemetery. Abandon all hope ye who enter. 
Oh no, not, not Crow. Is Crow gonna steal my bread? Crow started laughing! <laughs> yes, please keep laughing and doing nothing. <laughs> Stupid Crow. Wow, Crow has more HP than Wally does. No! He stole my bread! That was my only healing item! <laughs> Go west to the healer's house. Will you heal me for free, bro? Believe it or not, I am a healer. I can charge your PP and recure. Oh, yes. Please refresh me. $18. I don't have cash! Okay, do what you want. Do you have an ATM? We should call our dad to get a new save point. I've transferred $79 into your bank account because you fought Wally eight times. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you. Yes, I want to save. I was... I mean, in this game, you die so much. So you definitely want to con continuously save your game at the phones to get new respawn points. Actually, can we go farther this way? We can. Centipede draws near! Okay, surely we can just squash him like a bug. I hate the crows. The crows can steal your items, and they often do. There we go. Centipede's easy. You win! But they're only 1 EXP. Oh no, man. Not that. Not the hippie. No, stop falling for it. Chuck wasn't convinced at all. This made Chuck angry. Oh! <gasps> oh, you're so done! Oh my gosh! 25 damage. The hippie's like, oh man, shouldn't have tried that. What are you gonna do, Crow? Crow stole your Visa card. No! <laughs> I don't think Crow can steal your uh, plot important items. Just your healing items. I honestly feel like the best strategy is to just go around, fight enemies, slowly level up, get stronger, so we can take on the cemetery. There we go. Oh good, it's just a centipede. The, uh, the scariness of the enemies varies pretty drastically. Like, centipede is no big deal at all. Whereas, like, the hippie can be real bad. Actually, pretty much all the other game. Wally can be real bad as well if he just. Oh, Snake! I did not know he was an enemy. No, don't kill me. Oh, he didn't kill me. Please kill it. Yes! Oh, we got one HP left! <laughs> you win! No! I gotta go to the cemetery! Uh oh, Snake wants his revenge. No, don't kill me, Snake. Please don't kill me. We dodged! We dodged! We smashed! <laughs> okay, just dodge one more. No, please don't kill me! No, don't kill me! No! <laughs> snake! Snake! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. This will give me my HP back. Upgrading equipment. Uh, I might be able to actually afford the wooden bat now. That's true. It would also help if I could have armor. To decrease if I could decrease damage that would be great because right now every enemy damages me like a little bit if I could reduce all their damage to like one I'd be that would be really great Wally can you please just join my team and we can save Pippi together no Okay, dead trees. This is definitely a cemetery. Oh, gain zombie! Ah, oh, you see, I'm gonna eat your brains, see? 14 damage. <gasps> we're out of our depth here! Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not getting through. 
Yeah, we're not getting through the cemetery with uh, this equipment. Oh. oh, this is rough. I know I've been playing this for a while, but doggone it. I'm not giving up. I want to at least save Pippi. <laughs> the hippie draws near. It's about all the guys who don't actually hit each other. Uh-oh. Hippie got a concussion. <laughs> He's meditating. He's going to walk it off with meditation. Yeah, I got to buy the wooden bat. I don't want to... I don't want to buy healing items, though. Because the crow can just steal them. Yes, level up. That's what we're looking for. Oh, plus 10 PP. That's real nice. Yeah, good luck going to the cemetery without equipment. Should have remembered that. Hi, I'm, I'm Crow. Crow smashed me. Yeah, crows are real annoying. Is that, is that crow wearing tap shoes? Not anymore. You win. Here we go. Can I help you? We got 200... So I actually... Uh, I can't remember if that's enough. At the very least, we should withdraw it all. And see what we can buy. Drugs! Sporting goods. Excuse me, lady. Stop moving around. Welcome. Wooden bat's too expensive. We can buy the slingshot, though. You mean slingshot? I literally... That's what I said. Please visit us again. Is the slingshot still super inaccurate, though? Handy weapon that anyone can use. Chuck, equip the slingshot. Cool. Can you not buy armor? Or, like, clothing that acts like armor? I'd like to return, uh, this basement key. Sorry, I can't buy a basement key from you. Yo, yo man! Okay. I'm gonna deposit... Yeah, I'll just deposit it all again. It's probably a dumb idea, but the hey, I'm a cheapskate. What can I say? Guilty Party will definitely be added to the roulette. I actually am itching to play Guilty Party <laughs> uh, uh, for this. <laughs> Such a fun game. How accurate? I don't know. It doesn't mention it. In Earthbound, the slingshot is very inaccurate. Oh, but thus far, though, it hit on the first attempt. Okay, it seems like it's perfectly accurate. Okay, slingshot seemed to be a good investment. Hippie lost all his senses, man. New Psy power through battle. Cool, but I don't have Psy. I don't have any PP to use the Psy on. Crowd draws near. Caw, caw. Chuck's attack. You suffered 13 damage. Crow became quiet. Maybe we won't encounter zombies this way. Also, um, Pippi's probably dead if there are this many zombies around. Uh oh, that's not good. <gasps> oh, that's bad. Okay, what's the new side power we got? Hypnosis. Too bad we don't have PP. Gotta hope we just keep dodging his attacks. Marty, doesn't that doesn't that enemy look like somebody 
out of um, family business just in on the NES. Do your best, Chuck. If I were smart, I should have brought some healing items, but I was just afraid that the crow was gonna. Yeah. Those stupid crows! I have no problem with all ten games are requested. If people want to see specific games, again, we're here for charity. But you do you. Oh yeah, Marty. It would be awesome if we could co-op Guilty Party together, but alas, my modded Wii does not work like that. Gain zombie. If we kill, if we can kill a gain zombie though, we probably will get a lot of EXP. We killed gain zombie. That was. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! He's back. Let's try to run. It didn't work out. Great, thanks. For damage. Okay, no, this is not gonna work. <laughs> we need to get our. Sigh. We need to get our PP back. We need the healer to help us. Oh yeah, I forgot about Stray Dog. Rough, rough. Bye, Stray Dog. <laughs> At least the stray dogs went from, like, killing me instantly to now I can... Yeah, this is what I remember Earthbound Beginnings being like. It's just a lot of grinding. This is why Earthbound... This is what, like, okay. I'm not saying Mother 1's a bad game. Like, again, considering the time it was made, crazy good. It's just very dated now. Oh, stop dodging, you stupid stray dog. But, like, Earthbound took Mother 1 and improved on it dramatically, and then Mother 3 took Earthbound him and improved on it dramatically. Basically, what I'm saying is every game gets better in the series. Fairy tales and lucky charms. Now I have a cash card. $250. Okay. We don't need all of that. We'll take $150. Okay, so the healer guy, I think, charged around $40. I think it's like $39. So, I will be buying some food. Because we. I think we're just. We're gonna need it. Let's buy some hamburgers. Yes, I wanna buy a hamburger. One hamburger to go, please. I wish we could buy cake, but hamburgers should be pretty good as well. Look at the hamburger. Hamburger, fast food for some fast HP. Doesn't tell you how much. Earthbound at least gave you an estimate for how much HP it would uh, give you back. No! He's here to steal my freaking hamburgers! He's like, haha, couldn't, not couldn't help but notice you just left Burger King! <laughs> couldn't help but notice your favorite food is the McRib! <laughs> How about sharing some of that? This is another crow. Are you serious? The instant I buy food, they're like, let's spawn in a bunch of crows that can steal it. Okay, good. Kill the crows before they freaking steal my hamburgers. Run, 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 run. I am a healer. Give me. Oh, he only charges eighteen dollars. Never mind. Oh, that's great. All right, we have twenty-three PSI. Yes, Chuck tried life up alpha, covered by seventeen. That's it. That's not that much, but it's enough. It's the stray dog. 
Tie up your stupid dog. <laughs> when we defeated his like, stray dog became quiet. It's like, was he just barking? It's the hippie man. Level ups in Mother 1, though, are pretty drastic. Like, Hippie's now only dealing 2 damage when he used to deal, like, 5 or 6. And we're dealing a lot more damage now. And yeah, Slingshot's definitely not less accurate. Stop it, please! Wally, haven't you learned your lesson yet? No! <laughs> I want to stab this kid again. Oh, you, you would, Wally. There, that's what you get. That's what you get for trying to increase your attack power. Yes! New level up! New level up! Yes, this is what we needed. Gain zombie already? They should deal a lot less damage now. Never mind. We deal, did we take 12 damage? Okay, yeah, you, you you need a life up. We got a new Psy power through battle? Stop spawning all these enemies on me! Ghost draws near! This looks like one of those rejected Pac-Man ghosts from Pac-Mania. Like the purple grape juice ghost that never returned. Hey, I'm spooky! Speaking of spooky, he was like the best Pac-Man villain. <laughs> I just want to save the girl. But they keep spawning in enemies! Oh no, not pseudo-zombie. Okay, I probably should life up. Top off my HP. Okay, yeah. PP is what we needed to save Pippi. Gosh, don't stop spawning non- Oh no, Mr. Batty A and B and C? Do we have Psy Fire? We don't. That's real bad. Okay, they, they're they weak though. They only- they have low attack power. Okay, we can work with this. Just take them out one at a time. Mr. Mr. Batty C is thinking about life. Mr. Batty C, uh... Okay, he's also thinking about the circumstances. They're not the brightest bulbs. No, we can, we can work with this. Did he just try to attack himself? Oh, one-shotted Mr. Batty C. We probably get a lot of EXP? We do. Okay. I'm gonna scarf down a hamburger. There's the, there it is. I can see the cemetery at last. Mr. Batty, stop it, please. Stop spawning in all these enemies. I just want to save the girl. She's not even the main girl either. She's a random NPC. <laughs> Mr. Batty B is so confused. He wasn't confused anymore. Okay, never mind. Mr. Baddies are... I love Mr. Baddies, actually. They come in large numbers, they can't really do anything, and they just give me EXP. I can work with that. Zombies less so. Oh, man. But I probably have so much money from my dad now. He returned to the dust with when she came. Oh my god, yeah, this is why I don't like Mother 1. This is why I don't like RPGs that just randomly spawn enemies at you. Because man, like sometimes you can't walk two steps without it just spawning in a new enemy.
there's no rhyme or reason to it. You literally just have to hope it doesn't spawn. It takes forever to get anywhere. You win. Please stop it with this. We even we ran to a dead end. Oh, yeah, this game is dated. <laughs> That's for sure. Give me a level up, please. No, not yet. Actually, no. We should use our Psy first. Psy we can recover, but hamburgers are harder to do, so... There it is. Okay. It's the church. Hey, friendly priest. I'd like to stop the zombies' evil ways, but... They do not listen to me and won't even talk to me. Now I'm too scared to leave this place. Hey, can you, uh... Can you, uh... Heal me, maybe? Or, like, let me have a save point here? That would be nice. Wait a second. New music here. Hi! Grape... <laughs> the ghost of Grape Ape is here. Grape Ape. Ghost ran away. You win! But you don't get any EXP. I know this is taking a while. But I don't want to finish this... I don't want to end this without having done something plot-related. <laughs> when I save Pippi, or if I have a really hard time saving Pippi, I will, I will end it and go on to the next game. I apologize if this is boring to people, but... I just... Pippi needs our help, you know? Mr. Batty B is so convenient. So am I. <laughs> I literally walked one square. Hey, remember that ghost who ran away? Yeah, he's back with full HP now. Hi. <laughs> You're excited for the next game. Is that Does that just mean that you're pumped for what's to come, or just that you're sick of watching me with this game? Because <laughs> I... I got to stop spawning in all these stinking enemies! It's really annoying! At least we got a level up from that. Oh, 14 extra max HP. That's nice. Okay. Okay. So we gotta take the long way around. You just wanna see if Guilty Party gets picked. Okay. That's fair. To be fair, I played this stupidly with not getting the right equipment and not refilling my PP. And I'm also just getting enemy spawns like crazy, so. Alright, let's just let's just keep beating the stuffing out of them. Okay, see now the zombies are a lot less threatening because we've leveled up at least. Turned from when she came. Okay, move, move. Why is the movement in this game so wonky? Okay, there's a broken pillar there. I think that's where we need to go. Yeah, it's the game zombie. The Moran family sends its. Uh, regards. Please. No! No! I'm so close! Just stop it, please! 
Ghost ran away, but it didn't work out. But my attack also didn't work out. Smash! Just get out of here, you stupid ghost. Here we go. Yes! Scarf a hamburger. Oh, dang, that hamburger refills a lot. Oh my gosh, stop padding the game. For crying out loud, three of them? Really? Three of them? Oh my gosh. This isn't difficult, it's just tedious at this point. Oh man. Yeah, we've been playing this game for like an hour now. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's like twice as long as I normally would. I'm sorry, folks. But that is Mother 1 with its enemy spawning. If there's a boss here, and I don't remember if there's a boss here, we're, we're in trouble. <laughs> Chuck probably opened the lid out from the casket. I probably should have seen that one coming, since it was shaking. We can only heal two more times, by the way. We only have enough PP for one life up, and we only have one hamburger left. So please, just don't make me get unlucky, please. Please. Out from the casket. Who is it? It's another pseudo zombie. Yeah, I saw that. I noticed that happened right before the stream started. I think Nintendo's doing that to take people's mind off of their absolutely horrible Smash uh, rules set that they just released. Where they're like, you are no. There's like a. F <laughs> I posted the meme in that in my Discord where it's like, oh, you want to do a Smash tourney? Here's like a list of 18,000 rules you have to follow now. Rule number one, you can't sell water at Smash uh, tournaments anymore. Okay, zombies are crumbling to dust. It's not in-game, but it's more Nintendo released basically like a list of things where it's like, hey, if you're trying to do a Smash tourney, you better follow all these rules or we're, sh we're shutting it down. And they also said, like, even if you follow all the rules, we still might shut it down for no... Are you serious right now? With the freaking spawn rates. Out from the casket. There she is! At last! Hi, Pippi. Hi, I'm Pippi, and I'm lost. What a brave boy you are to have found me. Yes, I am. Don't get so swell-headed. <laughs> now let's go back to town. I sure hope we don't get attacked by a bunch of people. Oh my gosh, Pippi's escorting us back. She's apparently tougher than us. Chuck, please go first. I'm so afraid. Understandable. She's like, I know the stupid spawn rates of the enemies here. Oh, look, let's spawn an enemy in. It's Mr. Batty 1 and 2! <laughs> Oh, Pippi's... Pippi's now a temporary party member. I forgot about that. There we go. No, no, stop it, you stupid game. We couldn't help but notice you aren't fighting enough enemies. So let's spawn in 1,800 of them. Also, if I die, will Peppy go back as with me? Or will we have to go back to the cemetery to get her again? Hmm. 
Well, that's what happens when you can't... Well, I guess... Actually, I could just make a restore point. Pippi levels up. Pippi doesn't need to level up, okay? Pippi's a temporary party member. Does Pippi have any items? I haven't checked. Yes, let's fight more bats. Oh, that's real dumb. If you attack an enemy and then they die before your turn, it's just like, you didn't do anything. It's like, we couldn't attack the other guy that's still alive? Seems weird. That's a good idea, though. What Does Pippi have any enemy items? No, she doesn't. Oh my gosh, with the spawn rates in this game. We got a level up at least. Come on. Oh my gosh. I also turned the text on to the fastest possible speed. And it's still kind of slow. Just please. 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 Just stop spawning enemies and let me run back to town. Or at least to the guy's house with the telephone in it. Alright? New side power through battle. Cool. She advanced to the next level. Hooray. Let's just skip through all this as quickly as possible, okay? This is actually this is actually ridiculous. It's just so much padding. I'm not even gonna stop at the church. Okay, here we go. I was wondering when an enemy was gonna spawn in. And lo and behold, it's pseudo-zombie. Oh, you're not so tough when we can tag-team you. Also, it was playing the, uh, Melee Onet music. Oh, get out of here, you stupid snake. Come on, come on, run, 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 run to this guy's house. Yes! Call our dad and get us out of here. He grabbed the telephone. It's your dad! I transferred $731 into your bank account. After the amount you've spent, the balance is $631. Spend your money wisely. Well, next level requires $142 for Chuck, $17 for Pippi. Uh, do you want to save? Yes, please. Oh, I was thinking of going to sleep now. I've saved your progress so far. Good night. Let's rest. See you later. Remember, push in and hold reset while turning the power off, okay? Flam.